Nine years ago, under the eye of international inspectors, 8,000 spent nuclear fuel rods were stored in a cooling pond in Yongbuon, North Korea. Last December, the inspectors were expelled. US satellites saw the fuel rods being trucked away. And North Korea now claims they've already been reprocessed into weapons-grade plutonium. Over the long term, it could be producing 30, 40 nuclear weapons a year. That's an incredible rate of production. Even more serious than that image, which is quite serious enough, is the image of North Korea selling fissile material or nuclear weapons to non-states, to terrorist groups, to Al-Qaeda. That's precisely the threat George W. Bush claimed he was countering when he went to war against Iraq. Everywhere that freedom arrives, humanity rejoices. And everywhere that freedom stirs, let tyrants fear. But as yet, there's no sign that freedom is stirring in North Korea. And the tyrant Kim Jong-il will be a tougher nut to crack than Saddam Hussein. Put simply, America and its allies have three options for dealing with North Korea's nuclear ambitions. They can bribe it, or bomb it, or blockade it. And none of them is good. Available now on Video On Demand.